Hey guys, welcome to Kelders Outdoors. We're going to give you guys a bit of a gear review, some of our favourite gear. Um, in this video, uh, we're getting ready to go out on a canoeing trip, so this is what that's for. Um, but yeah, got some of our favourite gear here. Keep tuned, we'll let you know where it's all from, um, why we like it, why we don't. It's going to be good. So, Where let's get start? into it. Where to start? Where to start, indeed. Um, let me start this side, go that way. We've got a table. We've got this, this is one of the uh, one of them little lightweight hiking, uh, camping table things. It's just a, like an aluminium kind of plasticky cheap um, lightweight table. It's about this big. Uh, we'll set it up when we get to camp. Um, and it's um, it's not too bad. It's off Amazon. I forgot how much it was, but I've used it once or twice before, and it's all right. Next one, um, lightweight camping chair. This thing's so good. Um, it's nice having a chair that's actually fairly comfortable. Um, that's like you can pack it to this size. It's it's so cool. Um, would I take it on most hiking trips? No, not really, because it's not, it's not the lightest thing. I mean, it's not heavy. It's about maybe half a kilo to a kilo. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a lot of space and not necessary. Um, this one, we've got a hammock. This is neat, even though it's off Amazon. It's just a cheap little uh, hammock thing. Um, you can set this up as a hammock between two trees and hang it there, or you can lay it on the ground and set it up as a one-man tent. So it's kind of dual use, which is really handy. Um, this trip, the canoeing trip, we are going to uh, be using it as a single tent, which we haven't before, so that should be fun. Um, my air mat that I'm gonna be using is this one, uh, Cedar Summit Ethylite XT. Um, large size, these are these are really neat little air mattresses. I like Cedar Summit. Um, this is my first Cedar Summit thing I've owned. Um, it's good, I think, for the price. I mean, it was, it was, I forgot how much it was exactly. It was around $400, so they are really expensive. Um, worth it, I'm not sure. Like, honestly, I think I could probably get something just as good um, for half the price and uh, yeah but look I have, I have can't fault it it's very very comfortable um, and super light so uh, so this is the Alton ultralight ground bug net which is really neat a uh, little rectangle enclosure um, keeps all the bugs off here it works with the um, the bathtub ground sheet uh, called the bathtub ground shape because the edges of it kind of come up. They're like little walls to stop any um, anything crawling on you or anything like that at night. It's um, they have some really awesome kit. Alton, I love their stuff. Um, they're a good Aussie company, um, and I think the first thing I bought was this uh, tarp, a three by three meter ultralight tarp. It's got all the tie down points you could want. Um, awesome, awesome quality. Um, it's just so good. I love it. Um, comes with this field guide you can buy separately, which is um, shows you any kind of shelter you can make with it. There's Scotty. <laughs> this one's called Scotty's Gunya. That's um, a bit of a shout out to Scotty's. Scotty from Scotty's Gone Walkabouts. I love his videos, um, awesome guy, and yeah, lots of different videos, great little booklet, um, I haven't made all of these yet, but I really want to get more into, um, you know, using the, the bug, the, <laughs> the tarp, um, I've done that, I've done, oh, I've got the ultralight pillow as well from Alton, and the, um, fitting, fitted sheet, um, which are both super soft, super smooth, this thing fits over uh, Ethylite XT um, pretty well. It's a little bit tight, but it, it, it's doable. Um, 
and it's got a pocket in it which slides the pillow the inflatable pillow under it so it doesn't move around at night really soft really comfy if you've got extra room because it is you know it is extra weight that you're carrying which isn't necessary all right also we've got my Alton um, it's an ultralight top quilt I'm reading here um, <laughs> minus five degrees I was gonna go the minus ten but I thought if I go the minus five I can kind of probably use it in in summer as well if it's not very hot um, and you know now it, it is summer and it's not very hot so I'm gonna give it a try see if I can um, yeah get away with using it using a minus five in um, in not freezing weather so it should be right mate I love this this quilt it's so comfortable this is the first quilt I've ever had and I don't yeah I mean I like being uh, like pulled around like have a sleeping bag that fully encapsulates you but I also love just the lightness and the freeness that you have in a quilt like you can move a lot easier it's comfortable if you haven't tried a sleeping quilt try it um, this one's an awesome one from Alton um, Great, great, good, awesome down quilt. What kind of down is it? Is it? it is Goose Down. Um, responsible Down Standard Certified. So really awesome, good stuff. These guys make awesome gear. Alton, check them out. Um, yeah, Caleb, it's your turn now. You get to share some. All right, so what I've got is right here, my sleeping bag. This is like just $80 from BCF and like zero degrees. It's not down or anything, but it's really, really comfy, really nice. And even though it's pretty big and bulky, this is what I bought on the Bibbleman. So that's a pretty good sleeping bag right there. Over here, you have the knives and sporks this knife $16 and it's one of the best knives I've got so I've used this quite a bit and he's got a lot of knives <laughs> and this is dad's knife first of all it's got a nice full tang and really thick blade with a thumb grip there and cool wooden handle and it's got oh, flint and a fire striker really thick as well so it'll last quite a while and it comes in this cool leather pouch with a belt loop there it's a great little knife over here we've got dad's head torch this can just twirl around and do anything. And it's really bright and rechargeable as well. Over here, we've got a spork in this one and a spoon here, long handled spoon. We got these after you guys recommended them to us in our very first Bibbleman video. And yeah, so, and then over here, got cups metal so I can put we could boil stuff in it but still wouldn't really try it but yeah they're great little cups and yeah that's about all the stuff I'm gonna be showing you all right so where are we up to we've got this which is just a like a lightweight kind of hiking towel um, I think we picked that up at Kmart or something like that. Um, I don't know if I've actually, I think I might have used it once or twice. Um, but yeah, just in case. Um, this is our little first aid kit. So everything we need first aid wise, um, as well as, you know, toiletries, we've got you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. Um, lighter just for emergencies. Um, We've got this, this is a, a separate um, thing I bought, which is a pressure bandage uh, for snake bites. So they're really recommended for um, uh, out in the bush, but yeah, lots of, you know, band-aids, different kinds of, you know, first aid things that you need in the bush, especially if you have kids. Um, so that's all packed into there. 
Um, we take this thing with us everywhere. Like it's always in the car. It's really good to have. Um, even when we did the survival challenge um, in in one of our earlier videos, the uh, we did a twenty four hour um, survival challenge with just a knife and flint, and the, pretty much the only thing apart from that we brought was a, a first aid kit in a backpack. So that was that first aid kit. Um, you know, minus the light lighter, obviously. Um, yeah, really good. Need that stuff. All right, so we've got this uh, little cooker, which is a really neat little, um, just a single burner um, cooker from Amazon, pretty sure. Uh, it's got a cool windshield, which you can fold and adjust. Like that, legs that fold out. Um, great little thing, we've had it for a while. I uh, haven't really used it that much, but it is, it is a neat little thing. Um, uses these just, just butane canisters, um, twists in, cool, good. You can fit a pan on there and boil it, not a problem. So we've got that, we'll be taking that along. Um, we've got a good old, good old billy with a, um, a lid that's kind of like a cup or a plate or something like that. So that's handy. Just an old thing we've had laying around. Um, we really cool if that would fit inside there, that cooker would fit inside the billy. But I'm unlucky. Alright, so next up, so we've got two gas bottles. We usually um, take one, don't think we'll ever use one, but one and one spare, um, just in case. Uh, lighter, uh, just in case can't, you know, the igniter on that doesn't work. Air guard, we just need air guard. Um, got this Shamok from, um, again, I think from Scotty's gone walkabouts, so he loves using these things. Uh, I haven't really found, a, well, there is a lot of uses for them, but I don't tend to use it that much. Um, I use it for a cloth or to sit down on, um, or, you know, a bit of shade. Uh, lots of different uses. Really, really great. Um, but yeah, I'm taking it because I want to use it more. That's why, that's right. And we've got a good solid um, fry pan. Solid, solid base, metal handle. Um, had that many plastic handle fry pans snap, like melt and stuff in campfires and whatnot. But this is a nice metal one. Um, all right, so this bag, I think this is the last thing. Is there anything we haven't covered? I think we're good. So this is a 35 litre bag. It's, I think the brand is Mountain Warehouse. Um, I think they're a British company. Um, but yeah, 35 litres. That should fit this stuff in there minus maybe the sleeping bags or just the big sleeping bag. Um, but yeah, so that's our gear for tonight. Uh, for myself and Caleb who's filming, we are gonna go canoeing. It's gonna be good. Uh, but that will be the next video. So check it out. Um, awesome. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, if you haven't, um, chuck us a like and subscribe if you want to. We don't tell you what to do. Um, it's up to you what you want to subscribe to. But yeah, bless you guys. We love you all and we'll see you next time.